Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Patty, Patty Sutter Kitchen and more. I am glad that you all could stop by my channel. I really appreciate you. I welcome all of my existing subscribers back and I welcome all of my new subscribers. I did a grocery haul today at Winn-Dixie and I did get some savings and I will tell you what I spent. I spent $163.18 and I had a total rewards savings of $31.80. And I will start by letting you see the potatoes, the mashed potatoes, Idahoan. They were four for $5. So I got eight of those. I got the blueberry muffin mix, which my kids always loved. And you just add milk to them. But I always, whenever I cook mine or bake mine, I add milk and a little bit of butter to mine. Butter, margarine, what have you. I have the cheese here. Buy one, get one free. Two cans of the vegetarian baked beans, and they will be really good. I will put ground meat in those as well as some sausage and I have six cheese Italian blend and two and a half dozen eggs. I bought a pack of jello, orange jello, and I have some fruit cocktails that I'm going to put in the jello. I have one can of pink salmon. I had two cans, but I put one back at the counter when I discovered the can was bent. So I stocked up on some more roast beef hash, some more corned beef hash, and this one is a new one I had never seen before, sausage hash. So I only got one of those so I can try them. Got some more tuna and some chicken breast in the can with broth so this is a new item that i'm going to try hauled some more creole style red beans and creole style navy beans and of course i will chop up some green onion and saute it in a little margarine and some dried parsley Cut up some sausage in it, and it will be on and popping the red beans and the navy beans. And this is a good chef stable. It has the dates at 24. And if we get into that, if the grid goes down and all of these things happen like it's being predicted, you can just cut these and eat them right out the can. They are good just like they are. And we do have shortages. The President Biden has already said that there are shortages. And I saw a lot of shortages in the frozen section of the store. And um, let's show you the sausage that I got. I love the skinless beef. This is something that I got from the International Isle. I've never had these before. Peanut butter puffs. So I don't know what that combination will be like i can't even imagine so i'll do a taste tester on that title will probably uh do a taster as well i bought some more angel hair pasta um buy one get one free and i bought uh four of those bought some mandarin oranges and my grandchildren like that and i bought some peaches uh diced peaches in the jail i like those some Taster's Choice uh, coffee, and I bought some International Delight uh, hazelnut creamer for my coffee. I can't believe it's butter. It was cheaper than the Smart Balance, so I got that one. And I bought some more ragu. I have some, but I bought some more. Some chicken nuggets, some Special K red berries, and let's get over here. And these um, sodas that I got, buy two and get one free. I've been getting them for buy two, get two free. Now they're buy two, get one free. So 
they have cut back on that. And I believe this is everything that I got from Winn-Dixie. Oh, it doesn't look like very much, does it? Now, I bought these four things from, had to have a little snack. These were two for $4, the Lorna Doom and the vanilla wafer, then the chocolate wafer, $1 each. So I spent $6.60 on those four items. But this is pretty much it, y'all. This is what I have here from uh, when Dixie sure doesn't look like much for a hundred and sixty three dollars and eighteen cents. I thought I had a lot more, but this is it, y'all. So I'm stacking, replacing, rotating my stash so I can uh, make room for more. And as I said, I have an extended pantry, extended survival pantry. And I've not shown you that one. This is my working pantry that I use on a daily basis that I'm showing you. And a lot of this stuff I already have, like the Blue Runner beans, Creole style beans, and the corned beef hash and the roast beef hash. I have a very good stash of that. So I uh, just wanted to replace some that I've used. As I use it, I try to replace it. And the, the mashed potatoes, I wanted to get some more of those. And y'all, I was looking for the hash browns in the carton. The, um, not the mashed potatoes, but the hash browns in the carton. And the first prepper that I saw haul those was Miss Janita over there on Prepper, prepper Pantry Crafts and crafts and more and I've been looking for them ever since I saw her haul them I cannot find the the hash browns in the carton or the bag I can only find them in the frozen section but I thought that would be a good uh, chef stable if I could find them but I have not been able to so this is my haul for today I thank you all so much for joining, and please come back again. Please uh, um, ring the notification bell to be reminded of future uploads, and by all means, give me the thumb up, and please, please watch my videos to the end. Generally, my videos are not very long at all. I really appreciate all of the love and support that each and every one of you uh, give to me. And I love you all. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you on the next exciting video. Just want to give you a little scan of what I have here. And I'll be coming to you with another haul because I did go to another store, uh, Sam's, but I'm not going to do that one today. Talk to you guys soon. Bye now.